We need some extra horsepower. This old factory oil cap, gotta go. We got a new billet aluminum one, extra red, extra shiny, should add about 40 horsepower. <laughs> Just kidding. What's going on guys, Casting Jeep Gear and Gadgets, and welcome back to the channel. We are in the garage today working on the V8, and we are going to be doing a cam swap, which should actually add about 40 extra horsepower. So let's come over to the table and show you guys what we're going to be doing today. We've got the new cam, obviously. We've got some new valve springs. We've got some new head bolt and some new head gaskets. We are going to be getting on the engine, hopefully. If we have a lot to do, right? We gotta tear it all down, throw everything in, and then put it, hopefully put it back together. So, let's get started. Now a little backstory for those of you that are new to the channel. This is a Gen 3 5.3 LS engine. We're going to be throwing in my 2006 two-door Jeep Wrangler over there in the corner. Now in the last engine video that I did, or like the first step in this project, we tore the engine down. We made sure there were not any like major concerns, any major issues, and that it doesn't need a complete rebuild, which it doesn't. So we're pretty much good to go. The engine looked good. I have done a couple of things between my last video and this video. I have painted the valve covers this beautiful red color. I really like this color. A clean up the fuel rails and also the crossbar has been painted and I also threw on a new intake so this is a $60 intake from eBay it's kind of the knockoff of the fast intake um, we're gonna see how it does you know $60 it was worth a shot if I don't like it or if it's total garbage I'll just throw the factory intake right back on nothing is actually put together so you see this engine is mocked up right now nothing is bolted down nothing's tightened down it's all just put on there because I do have two kids and I didn't want them getting into everything if it was all laid out in the garage. We're gonna get all of this taken off now so we can start working on that cam swap. I am back to where I started or where I left off in my last video. Now before I get ready to pull the old cam out, I need to loosen these bolts and take out the lifters and the lifter tray because we wanna make sure they're good and also because if I take the cam out as it is right now with the lifters in, the lifters could fall into the engine bay and that's no good. So we wanna go ahead and get these out, see if they're good. You lost a lifter. There it is. Now an important thing to check for is to make sure there's no rotational movement with your lifters and lifter tray. Uh, if there are, go ahead and replace them. They're pretty cheap, but ours, they, I mean, they look to be pretty good. We'll check all the sets, get them all out, make sure they're good to go and move on to taking off the timing cover. Normally these bolts are obviously tight, uh, but we already loosened them prior to this. Maybe speed things up a little bit. Let's check these guys. All right, our cam lives right in here. But before I can take off the timing cover and the harmonic balancer, I wanna make sure that cylinder number one is at top dead center. So I'm gonna go grab a 24 millimeter socket and turn the engine over by hand and get cylinder number one all the way up. Top dead center. All right, let's get to it. bolt is on there really tight. I've been heating it up with some gas. I'm gonna hit it one more time and then hopefully it'll come this right off. This thing better come off. Better come off. More heat. Nice. I guess like a crazy long like breaker bar. Yeah. Next step. All right, let's try again. Try again. Is it even budging? There it is. Yeah, it's gonna be really hot. Pull it off. Yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> I didn't even touch it. <laughs> This is a GM specific harmonic balancer puller. I'll have this and everything else in the video in the video description below if you wanna check it out. I have my puller. I'm gonna grab a medium long rod. I'll do the, use this one. Let's see if this one's gonna be a good size. Stick it in the hole. And then uh, grab your puller. Take your clamps. There are gonna be three flat spots on the back. So you're gonna to wanna to find those flat spots and then tighten your, tighten your little clampy things down over them. Tighten the bolt down and then grab the impact and pull her off. Got her off. We are going to clean this up a little bit and give it a nice fresh coat of paint because it's looking a little grody. Now moving on to the timing cover. Let's get that baby off. All right, so in here we have got our oil pump and our timing chain. Let's go ahead and get the oil pump off next. 
went to go take the oil pump off and I totally forgot about the pickup tube. Um, in order to get this off now, we'd have to drop the oil pan and I really don't wanna do that. We're going to go ahead and take the, the cam sprocket off though, still do that. But first I noticed when we took this off, we were at top dead center, yes, but we were 180 degrees off. So we had to rotate this top sprocket, or not the top sprocket, we had to rotate the, the flywheel over. Yeah, yeah um, to get the, the dot lined up on the cam sprocket with the sprocket down here. And I don't know if can you can see. Can you see it on the camera? I don't There's know if you can see both dots. Dot down there. And dot right there. Dot, dot. So we have our timing lined up. Jeez, what, ah, what are y'all doing? Season? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Grab the 10 millimeter and get the sprocket off. And there's the cam, finally. Let's get this retaining plate off. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, it's right there. Uh oh, did you really just drop it in? No, oh, I see it. Let me get a magnet. Get the magnet. You're just gonna make it worse. There get the are. magnet. As you drop the magnet like, into the oil <laughs> pan. <laughs> it's like operation. Finally, we are at the fun part. We're gonna pull the old cam out. Now a small tip is if you grab the small bolts on your water pump, you can thread them into the cam and it'll kind of give you something to grab onto initially to pull the old cam out. And there she is, the old cam. Let's see, how's it look? Too bad. A question a lot of you guys are probably wondering at this point is what cam did I go with? I ended up going with the Texas Speed Stage 2 Low Lift Truck Cam. It's gonna give us that power in the mid RPM range, which is gonna be great for this build. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the box so we can just like take a look at it and admire the, admire the beauty of a new cam. I bet you it looks like a cam. Oh, I think you're right. Dang, look, look at them. There. Look at them horse stores. Look at it, horse stores. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I am not a cam expert at all, but what does a cam do? I kind of understand the basics around that. It changes how high the valves lift up and how long the valves stay open for. So this is a low lift cam, so the, it doesn't lift them much higher at all, but it will leave the valves open for longer. It changes how long they're open for to let in air and let in gas, which means more air, more gas, more power, baby. So that is kind of what it does. That's what this low lift cam is gonna do for us and how it's gonna give us 40 extra horsepower. Now, if you're doing an LS swap and you're looking to do some performance, performance upgrades, a cam swap is what you should do. You should definitely do a cam swap. It is a good price especially the low lifts. I spent about $360, $380 on this specific one. Um, and also with the low lift cams, you can reuse your push rods, you can reuse your lifters, and you can reuse your stock torque converter. And all of those are gonna save you money that you don't have to spend with a low lift cam. Now, there are tons of cam options out there, tons of manufacturers of them. Uh, it kind of just depends which one you want to go with. So Texas Speed was not my first choice. I originally talked to a guy at Comp Cams. Their customer service was fantastic. They were super helpful. Uh, they were asking like what the build was, asking a lot of questions and really like helping me narrow down what the like best cam would be for this build. Unfortunately, they didn't have the cam that I wanted in stock. A lot of companies are having supply chain issues right now, but if it weren't for that, I would have gone with comp cams. After that, I called up Texas Speed. You know, they were kind of helpful on the phone. They didn't ask a lot of questions. I could tell I was just another person like in the phone call line. I think I was caller number nine when I called anyway. So by the time I got, got up to someone, it was super quick, just kind of threw the cam out there that they thought would be best based on a light conversation. Um, but they're great cams, you know, they're all great cams. Whichever one you go with, it's gonna do it's gonna do the job. They all have like different specs. So they're all slightly different and they all have their own opinion of like what the best ratio is for lift and duration. And if you wanna know the specifics on the one I have, it comes in this little chart right here. You can take a look at it. And I'll also put a link below to the specific cam that we went with. That is enough talking. Let's get some assembly grease on this cam and shove her in. <laughs> I don't think that's what it sounds like coming out of the bottle. All right, I feel dirty recording this. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> new cams in. I mean, that's like such a satisfying feeling, like putting a new cam in. Just sliding it in. Shut up, you had to finesse it a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Important note, the retaining plate bolts, you torque those down to 18 foot-pounds, and then the cam sprocket bolts that go onto the cam, bolt those down to 26 foot-pounds. Real quick, I wanna show you guys how I painted the valve colors, no, valve covers. They're really pretty red over there. I'm gonna use the timing cover as an example. You're gonna clean it all off, tape off anything you don't want painted. You're gonna use a high heat primer, then you're gonna use a high heat silver, and then use the metal cast anodized coating of color of your choice. It can be anything. Now, if you want it to have that real shiny look, you gotta put the silver on first before the color, kind of make it really pop. While the primer is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lifters and the lifter trays back on. Now, I couldn't find a torque spec on like what to bolt those down to. Uh, they need to be snug, probably no more than like 10 foot pounds, so let's go ahead and get those back on. Nice and snug, let's check out this primer. I think we're about ready for that coat of yeah. silver. Yep. All right, now we wait for the silver to dry. And in the meantime, I think we need to talk about the valve springs. We haven't talked about the new valve springs yet. Whenever you put a new cam in, you're gonna have to change out your valve springs as well. Texas Speed recommends the LS6 valve springs. So those are the ones we are gonna go with. But in order to get the new ones off, no, old ones old off and off. the new, new ones, ones on, off. you're gonna need a spring compression tool. This one is from Max Speeding Rods. It's a cheaper version. I'll put the link in the description below. Basically all it's gonna do is compress these old ones so we can pull these off and compress the new ones to get the new ones on. So we're gonna have to repeat times. that like eight times. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that right now because it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. all 16 of the valve springs. Now, the tool that we use for max speeding rods is a budget-friendly tool to get these valve springs compressed and changed out. There's no reason to go out and spend a bunch of money on one of these tools if you're only gonna be like using it once. If you're not gonna be building engines in your garage every single weekend, it's a good way to save money on this build, and that's kind of what our goal is, is to do this swap budget friendly. Now we got all the springs in, we're ready to roll. One thing I'm gonna have to show you guys in the next video is we have an exhaust manifold bolt right over here. I don't know, can you get it with the camera before I try to move all the head? Uh, it's stuck up in there. It's a common problem to have, so we're gonna have to bust the welder out in the next video to get that sucker out. Now we're also not gonna get to the head gaskets in this video. I think I have a lot of footage already. I wanna get this video out for you guys. So we're gonna skip the head, the head gaskets. We also have a timing cover gasket right here we're gonna have to put on and a new bolt for our harmonic balancer. Some cam kits come with a new harmonic balancer bolt. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is when you're pressing your harmonic balancer back on, use the old bolt to kind of get it pressed on there and then put the new bolt on. We'll be doing all of that in the next video. Other than that, that's it for this video, guys. I do need to announce the winner of the Atura Swag Pack and the $25 Amazon gift card, and it's TJ Feldman. Feldman. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I am going to put your name in the video description below. Go check it out, comment, and send me an email so I know where to send all of the goods to. Now, I do have a question for you Jeep guys. I need to hook up my lockers, and I'm curious if you guys bought a switch pod or if you kind of rigged up your own thing. Let me know in the comments below what you did and if you liked it. Now, my next engine video will probably be putting all of this back together and kind of finishing up kind of you know putting everything back on bolting it down so that the engine is pretty much ready to go and we can move on to some other stuff we have to do before we actually get to the swap as always guys thanks for tuning in give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and my name's cassie and keep jeeping classy